What's soap? I don't, I don't know what soap. you're talking about. We don't have a soap. There's Your mom's no got soap. a soap. What? It's a beautiful morning with the barber shop duet. Hi, I'm Marcus Klinger with Klinger Vocal Studio. And I'm Sarah Vincent with Sarah Vincent Virtual Pilates. And on Wednesdays and Saturdays. We are the Barbershop Duo. Hey, it's great to see you. Come on in. Thank you for visiting our little barbershop. And if you happen to be here during one of the live premieres, why join the chat? Yeah. Meet the Whiff Pack. They're a cool group of folks hanging out from all over the world, and they'd love to meet you too. And for our mention today, we added this new Soccer Blue EDP to our den because when we were at Grandma's house, she busted this out. Yo, this is a little sample bottle of the original Aqua Velva mm-hmm. Icy Blue formula that she found in Grandpa's stuff after he passed away. It was kept in a closet, it's still and it's blue. still blue, y'all. So we brought this home to determine mm-hmm. once and for all which version of Soccer Blue, the 2023 or the 2024. For revamp mm-hmm. is closer to the original formula, and y'all, this mm-hmm. new revamp of Sacro Blue is almost ideal. Identical to what's happening what? in this bottle mm-hmm. from the 50s, y'all. So yeah. we decided to grab this little beauty mm-hmm. just to supplement our splash and soap. But y'all, mm-hmm. I mean, it's scary how close that it's is. It's trippy. It's really a time warp. Like you can tell there's subtle differences, but you can, it's much closer right. to this new version matching and that one. The one mm-hmm. you can get at the drugstore right now, that was a little bit more of the 2023 soccer blue. Yeah. This one, as Douglas mm-hmm. says, is for the purist. This goes all the way back. Mm-hmm. And for our soap today, we were perusing around a site of one of our favorite artisans and we stumbled across this page that maybe we weren't supposed to see. Yeah, we didn't find it. Mm -mm. We weren't there. We didn't hit purchase. We didn't get a set. It did not happen, and let's not meet the soap. You know, sometimes there are artisans that make beautiful soaps that people like to sort of notoriously mixed together. So yeah. if there were a chocolate soap, you might mix it with a peanut butter soap and yeah, make not? yourself a Reese's peanut butter soap kind of thing. <laughs> well, we have it on good authority that every once in a while, a very secret project might pop up for an artisan where they take a couple of soaps that are more of their traditional favorites and maybe some that aren't sure. mm-hmm. and put them together in a new way and, and definitely not make them available for the public. I mean, if you happen to stumble upon one and fight it, I guess that's your business. But these are generally not for public consumption, so there's nothing to let out of the box. So, y'all... You don't see this box in this, front of you. This, this box just kind of showed up. I think it was by mistake. Yeah, it, it fell better, on our porch. We better figure out whose this is yeah, in case I, they I, need I it back. Of. This might belong to Tall Texan or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, let's oh, check it out. Oh, I see. So, I'm not sure where this is from, but this nope. looks to me like it might be a secret mashup, it says. Yes. I, y'all, I don't know if you can see there. I'm not, I have no idea where we this is from. We can't say anything. came from. I wonder uh-huh. if we should go on the Postal Service yeah. site right now and report this yeah, as a lost maybe. package. But maybe we should smell it. for You know, this looks like it might have a couple of bananas. Maybe hiding in there, yeah. they don't look very rabid, no. but they might be kind of mad. And Maybe. this kind of looks a little bit like bread, a loaf of something. Does that look like a little French bread? Maybe there? Hey, yeah. I'm, I'm reminded echoes of a soap long ago called Fresh Baked that yes. might have appeared Maybe. in an advent calendar or mm-hmm. two long ago. And right. boy, those would be two interesting scents to put together, they don't you would. think? Yeah. Huh, I wonder what somebody mm-hmm. might do when they had a first impression Maybe. of such a scent. <laughs> Even the, they even lost their their splash. It Look at that! It, 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 it matches. They're, it's wow. almost like they're lost friends. I, I, yeah, like maybe the they found boys. each other. Well, I wonder mm-hmm. what you would even call this. I don't yeah. even see. Is there a name mm-hmm. on this somewhere? What does it say here? Nano bread. Na- nan- nano. 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 Bread. There's a dash in the middle. Nanu. Nan- nanu. Nanu. My mom was very clear once. She did not sleep with Jonathan Winter's son, but she watched him sleep. On the label there. Right, yes. Doesn't that look like it could be on like a, a Star Wars planet, like an aqueduct? It really kind of does. Thing? It almost reminds me of the Southwest, maybe kind somewhere of. near New Mexico mm-hmm. or even Arizona. Or maybe, or yeah. Like mm-hmm. All right, so, you know, I think if somebody was brave enough to mix the scent of fresh baked bread and bananas, we might as well at least right. do the justice of smelling it and I having think a so. first impression. It why just why miraculously why it showed up, so it's not our fault. Get. Right, mm-hmm. like we even have a banana soap, a memory oh, stir. Yes. Something earlier in the summer of a rather okay. rabid banana. And, and, and fun fact, I can't really eat bread on my new diet. Right. So uh, I may not even know what I'm smelling here, Your y'all. last two diets you couldn't eat bread. So this, <laughs> It's been this a few years. might be nice for you to have a little bit of Although a... Although I do purchase it for you, so I get a whiff when I make a sandwich, but, but I don't actually get to ingest them. To so. have a little bit of a yeasty wonder on your legs. Uh, yeah. 
Oh. All right, let's oh. take it in. Oh. See what you get. Oh. oh, this is a very dark. Whoa. I don't think it's the glasses. Hello. Yeah. Okay. Look at that. Oh, I wonder if there's vanilla. Oh, I already there. got a whiff. Oh, right. My oh, goodness. You got a whiff. A I'm, 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 I'm staying out of it. My nose is closed. Potent All right. Soap. Is it? We'll take it in. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Well, the label is accurate. Ah, what are you getting? <laughs> it's definitely the perfect ratios of things happening here. Oh, now, she woke here's up. <laughs> where I'm curious. I am a little bit familiar with rabid banana, so talk to me about the bread. What are you getting? Okay, so, you know when we smelled rabid banana, yeah. and there was a part that would kind of go woodsy? Yeah, yes. That's the part right. that has disappeared oh. into the bready side. Oh. So well, I'm told this might be more of an aged banana, a little bit of a wiser banana, a banana of a certain age. Uh, well, mm. Because it has to be ready for the bread, and you generally don't throw brand new bananas in a banana bread. You but, wait until they're just about unusable. Uh, mm, I don't know. I think I'm still getting the fresh, ripe, initial yeah. banana. There hey. may be a more brown, seasoned banana in right. the middle right. to match the bread. And then the bread leads off at the end. Oh. But it, it keeps it from getting too sweet. So it is much more of like, you know, the actual bread roll. It's right. not a sweet loaf of bread right. at all. I may get it more in the splash, right. but at least how it's coming across here. Yeah. Like I thought when I used to work at Trader Joe's and you had to set up the aisle with all the bread, right. I thought I was going to be hit with a little bit more of an obvious right. bread. Gotcha. But it's just a little more subtle right. than I was expecting. Now, you are a Bay Area girl born and raised, mm -hmm. so your bread has a quality that no one else's does in the whole world. You are used to a sourdough. That is not the bread I'm getting here. Right. So when it's, I think, more of like a French bread. Right. I yes. think a I'm sweet... thinking a French roll, right. you know, yeah. that kind of thing. Generally, I know it's weird, but 90% of the bread we get in the Bay Area is our sourdough bread. I mean, that's there's the other thing. breads available, mm -hmm. but generally that's kind of all we eat on our sandwiches is this nice sliced sourdough because it's like a worldwide delicacy and it's all over here. So it's very cool when I get a sweet loaf of French bread to actually smell sweet bread is a bit of a delicacy mm -hmm. for us. Yeah, and I'm not sure how much of the bread is actually sweet or if right. it's just a hint because the banana gotcha. part is a little more sweet. Right. Gotcha. Does that make sense? Yes, yes, like, yes. Like, I don't get like a banana pound cake. Right. I don't get that kind. Right, right, right. So if you were wondering... That's, well, that's because most like banana bread is almost close to like a banana pudding. You know, it's like a, it's yeah. like a dessert. I, I, I kind of can get that here. Right. More than like a banana bread, like the right. one you can get at Starbucks. I'm not getting that. Ah, uh, right. But I am getting um, the sweetness plateaus. Yes. And it's not a bad thing. But instead of it keep like trajectory of the sweetness growing, right. it just kind of turns into that bready zone. I gotcha. Think. Now, last question. Of the scents from... A particular artisan mm -hmm. that could be considered more novelty for example firework right. when you smell it yes there's the novelty factor because mm -hmm. it smells exactly like a firework but then there's something else that your nose wakes up to and the few dudes that i have had smell firework look at me and go why do i want that on me now mm -hmm. why is that such a beautiful comforting scent so my last question is this novelty or is this a wearable banana bread scent? I. It's interesting because it's a scent that shouldn't be in a soap. Right. So your brain is having a hard time being like, I should open my eyes and right. see something else. Right. Like but it's, fireworks. Exactly. Right. Yeah. But it's such a good scent that it's it's believable enough right. that if you smell it, like if I hadn't known what was in that box and I just got a whiff of this, I'd be like, wait, what? There should yeah. be a yummy, desserty, bready thing right. in there. Right. But so I think my brain is having a hard time being like, oh wait, I can put this on my face. Right. Because I, I'm so, it's so real on its own. Right. Not that I can't put it on my face. So when I first took a whiff of rabid banana, right. it's, it's more like the slip on the banana peel. You can't ignore it. It is completely... <laughs> itself. Right. It's a banana. It it's is. It's a starchy banana it right is. there in your face. You're just not used to smelling it at that potency level. Right. And so right. I think there's something about that like, hold on, let me just strap into even what I'm smelling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This version, you can smell in real life somehow. Right. Like, I, I'm just trying to figure out what aisle at the grocery store I could find this because I, it's real. Right. But it's not, it's, it's, you're used to smelling it at this potency. So does that make sense? Yes, like, absolutely. Like, I think that's the big difference for me. It just right. smelling that versus this version. Right. Right. This could be on someone's counter in right. the kitchen. Well, it works with colors, too, because sometimes if you love a blue, you can turn up the intensity, but then the color changes yeah. until it maybe 
isn't that favorite blue you loved anymore and sometimes with certain scent notes the intensity can get super turned up all the way so this is kind of bringing the banana back into a little bit of a balance yes i would agree I, so yes you can totally put this on your face but i think if you were to initially smell this your first reaction would not be like oh this is a shave soap I can use this. Right. My first reaction is like, hold on, I, do I take a bite? Do I smell it? Do right. I like? I'm still stuck at that part, which is what's super fun right. about this company and things that they do sometimes. All right, so I am excited to take this in. Here we go. I've been thinking about it's this. It's been for on a the while. piano for a while, yeah, but we had excited. to pretend it didn't exist. All so right, here you we know. go. It doesn't exist. It doesn't. There's nothing you're smelling here at all. So what is Marcus not smelling? <laughs> Oh, that's... N oh, I love this. Well, because, y'all, if the bread was going to be a novelty scent, it would have been strong. It would have been perfectly balanced with mm -hmm. banana. But let's have a grown-up conversation. When you actually smell banana bread, you don't smell them in balance. Yeah. You don't. Because the banana is, by nature, a more potent scent. Mm -hmm. And if you are going to actually smell a banana bread, the banana is going to be a little bit more powerful than the mm -hmm. bread part. So what I love about this, just like as if it were real, my nose is having to go, like you said, mm -hmm. oh, there's the banana. And then... What's that hiding yeah. under it? What's that supporting it? That's where I'm finding that beautiful breadiness to it. And it's not like a yeasty okay, I was gonna bread ask, for right? me. No, it's more of like a sweet dough. Almost like if bread and cookie dough were, could kind of like be ah, in the same family. Kind of that. Like a beautiful, sweet, bready dough. Like, do you than smell like any butter bread. on the bread? Because I wasn't getting oh. that. You know what I mean? Like, I wasn't getting like a normal toast no. either. And you know what's for me? I really am enjoying, rather than pulling in like a bread note, I'm enjoying what that bread note's doing to the banana. Yes. Does that make sense? Like mm -hmm. it's not softening it, but it's almost like making it kind of creamy and making it a little more savory, if that makes That's sense. That's a good word. Like, I would agree. To make the banana a little less sweet would be an interesting notion in the first mm -hmm. place, but then to bring it into sort of that bready, less sweet, gourmandy, savory side. it's the lack of the starchy note. Oh, right. It turns into the bread instead. Ah, you're right, because I can still find the starchy, but right. as I follow it, it doesn't end with yeah. like the stringy part of the banana peel, yep, like it gone. does in Rabbit Banana. Uh -huh. It stops at more of a bready note. I think that's where we are. So y'all, for me, this is like, oh, I don't know, like 30% bread and about 70% It's definitely, banana. yes, banana forward. But if it's going to be banana bread, that's what it should be. And I love that that's what it is, because it means the little twists and turns that take this beyond Rabbit Banana are not going to be in your face. They're going to be a little mysterious. They're going to mm -hmm. be a little in the undercurrents and the underpinnings of why these were put together. But mostly, yeah, but like you said, I love how this is taking the edges off the banana. Right? But if you smelled somebody wearing that, like... What, what would you think? Right. You know what? I, I, I know now why you asked about butter. Because the sweetness of the bread takes it in a different direction, and I'm not sure yeah. how it's doing that. And if only there were... Set notes to check, but they're not. There are not. Nope, There's no set no notes set for notes. this. So I know I said, like, the splash might say some more, but I actually think this lather could be That's something that helps what us. I'm thinking. I wonder if the bread is going to come mm -hmm. forward a little bit different. Well, oh, okay, hold on. There's vanilla in this, y'all. Because sure. sometimes if the top layer of the soap is mm -hmm. oxidized a little and you dig in and you get a little bit of a chain. That's what that we're That means at. there might have been either some vanilla or something else that oxidizes on top so of So the non-existent scent notes, we can at least guess so, that right. that's in there. So I might might bet my hat that there's some vanilla going on in this. And this is my Haley's Artisan Saturday morning sprinkles bowl, y'all. Makes me feel like I'm eating ice cream while I watch my Pee Wee's Playhouse on Saturday morning. Perfect for some nano bread here. Mm -hmm. And our Cyclotrode X. Yeah. Brush from Phoenix Artisan it Accoutrements. We love this brush. Feels like little bunnies giving my it face. It may be coming kisses. back for Halloween season. Do you so think? I don't soft. know. It's beautiful. Okay, let's see. Actually, these are yours. You should do Ooh, your okay, little. Yeah, you, you, you do the magic. Lather I've been lathering Look at that, y'all. There we go. And it's already there. Oh, and I am getting hit with stuff. Yeah? 100%. Okay. Y'all, these were not really meant to be smelled off the puck. These are concentrates. They're mm -hmm. meant to be smelled in the lather. This is what your perfumer had in mind. Actually, then it even grows more until we get to the splash. <laughs> wow. Oh, I love that this is keeping a tiny hint of that caramel quality that I kind of oh, sensed in word. rabbit banana. Just yeah. a tiny, tiny wisp of it. I have 
have to say, I was almost thinking how you do where you cook the bananas on the stove. I do. And they caramelize. And yeah. I, I kind of thought Fried the banana bananas. would just, yeah, I thought it would kind of sneak from that zone more into the bread. But I somehow still get the real banana in mind. Yes. It, it is not the same character as it is in Rabbit Banana. There is definitely a Tweedledee to this Tweedledum, but I am loving how it's kind of shifting the banana. Because I think if you smelt this, you would still just kind of say, oh, it's a banana centered. Right. Yeah. So, but there's something magical. It hasn't been like candied. It no. hasn't really been caramel there's something about what that bread is right. doing that's almost like if you could sense a banana churro oh that'd be fun kind of a thing like that's kind mm -hmm. of where i'm going with this interesting not like the fruitcake ish banana bread yeah but more like a banana churro or, okay. or like a banana danish or something and like I a think banana cream pie from from rabbit banana like where the starchy would turn into like a powdery sugar right here i'm just getting the more banana powdered sugar right side. right Oh, this? This is not a cereal bowl. This is actually lather, y'all. That's why I know why you're confused. It looks just like milk in a bowl. It does. Look at this lather, mm -hmm. y'all. All right, y'all. This is something you will only see here on the Barbershop Duet. This is the Ernie Kovacs with on three, one, two. Oh. oh. You know? Oh. I rarely say this. I like these equally in the lather and the puck and for different reasons. Different. What are you getting? I get more bread here. Oh, okay. I nice. think. Right, yes. I get more sweet there. Yes. I get more candied yes. banana like mm -hmm. there, like banana bread yep. candy, but this here. is more of a real bready thing on my yeah. mouth. Yeah, interesting. Whoa. But I feel like I walked into a really nice bakery right. that was working on them. Does that make sense? Yes. Like, Like they just baked a whole bunch of banana breads. And you know, you know, if I know Douglas and Fran like I know Douglas and Fran, there is something in this that makes it wearable. There is something yeah. in this that makes you want to keep it on your shoulder all day and gives it a little bit of a way to do that. Because at the end of the day, it is a shave soap right. and it is a splash. So you do want to actually use it, not right. just smell right. it here. And it's coming, I don't know how they do that, but it's for sure coming across. Oh, the bread almost gives it like a soapy quality oh, to yeah. it. Oh, just in the way it sweetens and dries it up at the same time? It's Whatever that intensity is, is perfect for me. I right. think any more, and it'd be almost too in your face. Right. But ho however that's combining with the lather, it's just a perfect, subtle sweetness right. that turns into like a little scent journey into the bread. Right. And I liked it, the bread. I'm still putting my flag in this. It's still only about 30% of this balance. I'm with you. That's what I like. Ooh, I wonder if it's a little bit different in the splash. Well, right? we might have to fall out of our banana tree to figure that out. <laughs> Take this a little deeper. So y'all, when we watch our shave and tell videos, we like to watch how he lathers the face. Mm -hmm. Tells us a lot about the base and the formula he's using. So while we don't do shaving here in the barbershop to wet, we might start doing a little bit of face lathering so you can see how oh, this base brush. will coat your face. I know. It it's feel such great? a soft little bunny rabbit brush. Y'all, and this base, the first one I tried in the wet shaving world and still absolute top of my favorites list. Look at this. It's it's quite a wonderful slickness. Peaks and valleys like Himalayas. And I don't know why, but it's not weird to have on my face in a lather. Whoa. You know? Y'all. It just, it smells good. This charms up that banana. Cause y'all, let's have a grown up conversation. We have been living beautifully with rabid banana now for mm -hmm. a few months. This, the charm that the bread gives it is just what it needed for me to make it wearable. Mm -hmm. I mean, you'd pick this out as a banana scent, I'm pretty sure, but yeah. everything going on around with it, mm -hmm. it's just so beguiling that your nose doesn't like stay there. Are you getting more like a nutmeg or a spice in there? Yeah, see, that's what I mean. That's There's what I mean. Something. There is something in this that's going to like make it a little bit more wearable, make it a little bit more of an aftershave. And let's face it, yeah. there's been some weird stuff put in aftershaves, including... <gasps> So y'all, banana, bread, I am there for it. Aventus mm -hmm. is pineapple if you really just drill down into it. You know what I mean? Right? Like, this is fabulous. Baccarat Rouge mm -hmm. by 40 is saffron. This makes perfect sense to me, and I think the bread is adding something to this banana that is just giving it such an alluring charm for it me. It is. I wonder if we should consult our official banana consultant. Lee. Ah, we'll yeah, we're going to need to call thoughts. Lee when this is over. Yeah, right? because this is, you know what's funny? The, it doesn't take it more gourmandy for me. The bread yeah. part takes it a little yeah. bit less. Are you getting that? I would agree. Like, there's something, a bakery happening here for me. Like, wow. you know, if you said that this was a famous bakery that was known for their Ooh. banana pudding, I'd be like, yeah, I get it. We got to roll our sleeves up for Ooh. this portion of the show. All here. right, so this splash that must have gotten lost in the mail yeah. and just somehow mysteriously arrived at our doorstep. Yeah. We're going to see what this smells Sorry, like Sorry, whoever here. this was for, but we we're got, opening ooh, it. It's, it's happening. the new orifice from this particular okay. artist. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, let's do this together. Yeah, let's splash right here. Da, da, da. 
Nano okay. break left there. All right. All right. One, three. We're going, one, I might have drifted on the docks. That's okay. Oh. 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 Whoa. Y'all. Oh. With, with, with rabid banana, there was a little bit of some woods. There was a little bit of something in it that made it a little bit more after shady. A little caramel. This. This is different. Okay, so I'm a big liar. I definitely just got the butter on the bread. Right, right. I, it but happened here. It might be a different formulation, slightly in the splash in the soap. It's because I'm getting, I'm getting the toasty bread. I'm not even getting that banana forward from the Do splash. You like it? Whoa, yes. y'all! Yeah, things happened. Hold on. This uh, is oh. charming. This okay. was just totally softened up. I'm getting like a but a bread with butter. You a tiny like sense of a bay rum in this, Douglas. Well, now I'm more in the savory than the sweet right. side. What Me too. did you do? Me too. I, I don't even sense it as banana. Yeah. Wait, this Something is happened. bananas. Oh, she wants it bad. Look, she's smelling it. Do you like that too? I know. Hold on. Oh, we're, we're going back for doubles. Hold seconds. They, 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 we they, need they, seconds. We're, we're, we're doing as Carlos says here. We're going to put on two coats of the after shave. Hmm. Oh. I know. She woke up hard for this. Y'all, <laughs> right where this goes, banana, 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 starchy, real banana, that's where it makes a U-turn mm -hmm. and comes back and goes, this is going to go as close to real banana as it can, and then it's going to remind you that it's not. It's beautiful, and there's something bready sitting underneath it, something a tiny bit spicy, yeah. something a tiny bit woody, to okay. just give it a softer character. I'm with, so here's my thing. I don't think the bread was sweet at the beginning, ah, at least coming from here. Right. There's a butter, there's a spice. Right. But I'm not getting a sweet, I'm not getting a sourdough, but I'm not getting a sweet bread. Right. I think the sweetness was coming from the banana. And now that it's having the dry down effect, like where before we had the banana, instead of it going starchy, had a right. powder sugar kind of vibe. I think Ooh. that's what's happening. I know she wants it so Right, bad. right. Yes, it's like the natural starchy sweetness of the banana has been traded in for powdered sugar, but without it getting too caramely, without it getting too candy-ish. Yep. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's like a savory butter. Right. Y'all, that bread is having the same effect on the banana that like a cedar would, would, but it's not. A cedar and would, And it's would. like charming it up and, and making it almost creamy. Like, whoa. I'm with you. Okay, so uh, at first, when we saw this magically pop up, I'm like, oh, well, we already have rabbit banana. I don't think we really need this. But y'all, this is a different thing. How am I getting cinnamon? I, I said that earlier. How in the world? What? Right, Meg, cinnamon? Y'all, I would have been lost. Without this, because <laughs> now, now I got to go poking around in the back rooms mm -hmm. of that website a little more because th I, I would have just thought these mashups would have been like something familiar, something familiar. Here you go, right, something right. familiar, er, right? Like, oh, I can make this on my own. I this, can just put these two this together. Is, look, she never licks my hands. So here's the deal. Totally different. When you're on the website, you can figure out which one. What? When you're on the website, what website? Magic things, po weird things poke might happen. Around. Hit page. I don't know. Hit page. Just, just keep, just, just smash your keyboard with your palm. You never know. Mm -hmm. Even sometimes on Instagram, it may suggest some mysterious things. Click it. It will take you to these magic pages that we don't know. It's we not bread. Know. What is it? What am I getting? What is that other side of this? It's not bread. No. Nope. I'll say it. This is a bread. I, but it's something magic. She's trying to lick my arm off. It's something I want right now. It's on the Laney list. Look, she she wants it hard. So she, Laney has a favorites list. Yeah, and this is the top of Laney's <laughs> this is now. favorite list. Nana Bread, we ordered it for Laney. She pushed the button. We didn't do it. It's her fault. Gorgeous. And mm -hmm. it does not, for a single second, take it into, like, you know how certain things are artificially flavored? Especially mm -hmm. things that are, are a little bit more on the novelty side, that when you smell a scratch and sniff sticker of, like, fresh baked bread, you kind of know what that would smell right. like because of the acetates we've used from time and generation mm -hmm. to do that. Y'all, I I don't even sense this as bread because whatever that second half is, is mm -hmm. so beautiful and so natural and so real and so gourmand that y'all, this is just almost reminds me of my bowl of ice cream last night. It's right? like something uh -huh. so real and so charming in its balance. It's that, funny. I want to have ooh. our godson over and not tell him, just right. put this under his nose and be like, what is this? Like, put this on. Wh right. What is it? Because I don't think he'll figure it out. I never thought this would be one of our most natural smelling aftershaves. And is yet that here weird? we are. So we were just talking about going to the drive-in. I feel like this would be awesome to put on. Like there's almost a hint at a butter popcorn. Right. But it's not. But your mind wants to figure it out. I'm and then it goes like cologne fancy somehow right. at the end with and the spices and wood something. While these generally are not in full Monty lines, you can get a soap and a splash of these mashups. Mm -hmm. And so far, not to put too fine a point on it, but we've run across three 
or four, and mm -hmm. we are told there are more. So if you find one of these secret mashups and we can't tell you where to go, no. please let us know in the comments. Yes. And sometimes they're seasonal. So you right. gotta wait till yeah, a certain never. time to find the secret. So it's pretty simple. All you have to do is be up way later than you should be poking around on the website of one of your favorite mm -hmm. artisans. And you are gonna run into this sticker that you've never seen before with a couple yeah. of different aspects from two of your more favorite soaps. And the one thing that it does say on the page is you didn't find this and don't tell anybody about it, but you can get your eye. So head over to their website at phoenixartisanaccoutrements.com, or even better, do it by way of the link in the description. It's an affiliate link, which lets them know that we sent you, and it gives us back a small percentage of the sale, which we'll probably spend on soap so we can make more episodes. It's at no cost to you, and we would be grateful. Y'all! I bring you some glad tidings of great joy because the soap for fresh bait does not have a brown quality to it. The soap for rabid banana does not have a brown quality to it. And yet this mashup has a phenomenally brown quality that becomes light as you dig in, which tells me that you're probably looking at vanilla in this formula which probably means that something's been added over and above just the mashup of these two soaps. Because y'all, in the last analysis, this soap and splash are an absolute love letter to vanilla and everything vanilla can be. I know it's bread, I know it's bananas, but for me, that's not what this celebrates the most. I love those qualities simmering underneath the surface, but what I love best is for me, this is an unapologetic blast of vanilla, and I am loving it. Thank you, Douglas and Fran. Welcome to Messages. So for our September giveaway, we wanted to shed some light over to Zingari Man. So you have a chance to win a $20 gift card to Zingari Man! Yeah, all you have to do to be eligible is send us an email here to we sent you at thebarbershopduet.com so we can get back to you. It's the only way we communicate about our giveaways. And then check back here on October 4th when we have our Alexa help us choose our lucky winner on the show. Best of luck! I feel like you got to sing the song. It's so bright. We got to wear shades. Ooh, right? <laughs> Y'all, what a beautiful, beautiful idea. Because mm -hmm. it's not, and I guess last analysis, yeah. this does not smell like banana bread. No, yeah. this smells like an absolutely charming, phenomenal banana mixed with the idea of a whimsical, beautiful, subtle, bready bread mm -hmm. that's going to bring those together in just a charming way and make it a wearable aftershave. So take another one for that. And now, now go back to our original whiff okay, here right. and see what does the bread say now. There's way more banana in this. This is more of your bread, and I love how that's They're doing. perfect to start off with this, right, though. Right, Introduce right. you to your shave. Have a good, wonderful time down the scent memory lane. I cracked then, the code. You know what this is? What? You know what this is? What? Every once in a while, if my dad got up to make us breakfast, he would cut up bananas and put it in our Cheerios. Ah, and once you were down mm -hmm. to just the milk and a couple tiny little triangles of banana left and you drank the milk, yeah. it had this phenomenal sweet milky banana quality to that it. You could still side. subtly taste the Cheerio mm -hmm. inside the milk. There you go. Welcome to my fourth grade mornings, y'all. That's what this smells like. And I even get subtly the lactonic note, a little bit yeah. of that cinnamon scents from the Cheerios, y'all. Absolutely beautiful. I'm yep. so glad they made this. This this is a definitely one of those fun scent journey right. kind of a soaps. Yes. I now if I smell, I can smell the butter on my arm in there. So the the bread side is definitely coming out too. Right. And I I I can't eat bread, so right. I can now shave with it. So thank you, mystery person, whoever sent this in the mail. Right. It's perfect to add to our tent. <laughs> and if you happen to have the postman accidentally drop this off at your house, let us know before you return it, because we're yeah. curious to see what you We expect. are super curious. So we may have to send this back to whoever sent it, because it I doesn't know. exist. Yeah, it's sorry. not real. Return to sender. Yeah. Address Oopsie. unknown. Mm -hmm. Don't forget your next point with the barbershop duet. You'll smell exactly the same watching this.